hello hello we're at it again an estate sale and this one i'm really really excited to take you on these homeowners have been collecting for 75 years everything must sell everything must go the only caveat is it's cash only so i was kind of hoping they would take a card if i find some really good stuff so we'll see what kind of deals we can get um, see what kind of things they have online it was looking like they had some great furniture pieces I'm a little bit limited in what I can pick up here today in my smaller vehicle, but let's get in there. Let's see what they've got. It's day two. I'm really excited to get in there and see what they have. And of course, I'm gonna take you with me. Let's go. Morning. The house is loaded. It looks like it. Let's it's exciting. Okay, thank you so much. And it's cash only? Cash or check. Okay. And if you see something you really like and you don't have either one of them, we can make it work. Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll hold it or whatever. Perfect. Thank but you so much. Yeah, this is exciting. Thank you very much. Right. <laughs> wow. Is this toilet paper? Oh my God. Toilet paper of Saddam Hussein. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Old Kodak. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oak cabinet. Look at these lights, 40 bucks, $40 for these little angel lamps. really nice yeah and i'll think about getting that you should it's a really nice piece i started about one yeah ripped off on it. it was cheap stuff oh it is coming apart at the bottom here looks like it could just be tacked in a little bit of wood glue tack it back in really really nice only 65 dollars i think he's gonna get it Okay. This is a cute little drawing. It's oh. pretty, but the picture's got. Mm -hmm. Picture's got some water damage. Oh my gosh, look at all that mold. Look at all that black mold back there. The rain is really coming down now. Okay. Everything in the garage is a little wet, and you can hear the rain coming down now, but... Oh my gosh, look at these two. This is gorgeous, but look at the damage. And he's got 25 on it, and it's completely damaged here. That's a shame. It's so pretty. Top's a bit dented up, too. Yeah, who's up to my email? Yeah, just say you want to get on the email there. Your name? I'm Larry. Rob. Rob, how you doing? Think about that. Yeah, that's a 
And this one's 20, which is kind of high. Oh, it's sticky. Yuck. This is a little too high, but I'll hold it and think. We got a holding table here. You do? I'm just going to think about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Just catch her on the way out. Okay, perfect. She's going to help you a little bit on the two. Thank you. Okay, awesome. Whoa. Yep. So we're in the kitchen now. Not as exciting as some of the kitchens I've been in. Mostly glassware. This is cool. Universal Cambridge oven proof. What was this used for? Does anyone know? It's very neat. I'm just so curious. Let me know what this is. Really pretty. China set. I love the floors. The original floors in this home are gorgeous. And look at the crown molding. Look at this detail. Wow, the sideboard is 650. It's in excellent condition though, I will say. Really pretty. A lot of miscellaneous pieces. Prices seem pretty fair on some of this stuff. Some more glassware. This is pretty. I'd love to get some stained glass pieces for my sunroom. This is a really nice built in corner cabinet. Here, I'll back up so you can see. Table is 75. Wow, look at this massive glass piece. 225 for this punch bowl. Can you imagine having this for a party? Piano is gorgeous. 225 on the piano. Wow. Wow, it's so pretty. I would love a piano for my home, but how the heck would I get it? Some more dolls. This desk is six fifty. That's pretty high, six fifty. Another piece here is two fifty. Wow, these are neat. 
They have old vintage Elvis, 1977. It says straight bourbon whiskey, 86 proof. It's whiskey. Wow. Pretty table. Excuse me, I'm just going to come right behind you. Thank you. Look at this plant stand. Very tall. That's fun. Some more Elvis stuff. Any Elvis collectors? This room is very wet feeling. Look at these dolls. Oh my gosh. Tablecloth, very, very old. I'm sure it's so pretty. Here's a little basket. They have 30 on it. Pretty nice old basket. never determine what's a good price for one of these baskets. This is kind of how big it is. There's my hand. And they have 30 on it. I don't know if that's fair or not. It's very primitive. I'll hold it and think about it. Wow. <laughs> Look at this little room. So we've got some Christmas. Look at the old Christmas dishes. It says the whole set is $20 made in China. That's neat though. These are interesting. What are these? Christmas trees with a hole in the middle? Huh. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this before. Not a lot of vintage Christmas, which is what I personally like. But some very interesting pieces. Pretty light with a leaf. 
Wow, look at that. Is that like a little nativity scene crib? Look at this lamp. This looks like it's sprayed though. This is not really brass. You can see the flecks of paint on it. You can almost hear it. I've put one of these in my shop before. It's a fold up ironing board. $10. All the old canes are so neat too. Wow. All right, I gotta go back and get the copper kettle. Let me check the price on this basket real quick. That's a neat old basket. Yeah. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. These gathering baskets go for triple the price online, so I'm probably going to get this. It's in really good shape. Oh, there's a little stool down here. Let me get the stool. Excuse me. I'm just going to come behind you real quick. No worries. Thank you. Let's check out this little stool that I've just seen. Oh, this is super cute. Six dollars, a little baby stool. Love that. Okay. I don't know why, but I've always liked the antique one baskets like that. Do you collect them? My mom does. Yeah. And I don't have any myself, so I'm like thinking go, maybe I should get one. I can put some dried floral in it, something like oh, yeah. that. She'd be tickled to come to your house to see yeah. if you had one. Yeah. Exactly. If she likes, you know, yes. what she likes. Uh, I'll probably give it to her if she loves it so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Try this. I don't think there's anything else. I didn't check this box. This is a cute vintage print here. What is he holding? It says Blue Boy. I just can't figure out what he's holding. If he's holding wildlife, I don't know if I like this, but if he's holding like a hat or something. Well, depending on the price, we'll, we'll do it. Here's another little pinky. I don't like her as much. Sorry, Pinky. There's the pink lady that matches that little blue. I just saw her, yeah. Blue boy. Yes. Fender. 
So it's set. It's pretty. All right. Let's see what we can get for prices here. Okay. I'm going to take this, yeah. Can I check out with you or would I have yeah, to go yeah. back inside? You can oh, check okay. Out with me. Okay. We had 20 on that. Okay. No price on this. Okay. Six. And then you had 30 on that. Um, how about 50 for all of it? 50 for all of it? Yep. 20, 30. Okay. And yeah. Then these, I could do that. Throw those in. Thank you. Sure. I got some good stuff. I'm happy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. All right. Well, we're glad. We'll be here tomorrow, too. Do you have any other sales coming up? You guys usually post them online. Yeah, we post okay. them online. And, okay, great. Um, I'll keep watching. We, we have, the next one's coming up uh, probably in the middle of March. Middle of March. Third. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. And it's full. Wow. It okay, might great. Be a two weekend sale. Nice. That's how much oh, wow. I'm excited. Okay. Thank yeah. you so much. All righty. Have a great day. You too. Wow. Look at that. What is that? Bomb shelter. No way. Yeah, way. Wow. Uh -huh. Have you gone in there? No. <laughs> I got to pee. Look at that. It's a bomb shelter. Wow. Wonder when that was built. Crazy. Thank you so much. Have uh -huh. a good day. Have a great day. Excuse me. Have, have a great day. All right. So I'm walking in the rain here, but we got some good stuff. All right. I'm not in the best area, so I'm gonna kind of go probably a little bit quicker just so I can get in my car and leave. Um, so I only spent 50 bucks for everything. I got this awesome kettle. The basket, they had 30 on, which I looked up online. They go for triple. It's an antique gathering basket in really, really good shape. So this will go in my Etsy shop. This kettle will also go in my Etsy shop and it's in perfect condition. No holes, a minor little dent there, but nothing that, that takes away from the piece. Beautiful antique. And then I got this vintage print, really nice. So essentially I paid for these two and I got these two pieces for free. So I got the vintage print, which I thought he was neat, just needs a little cleanup. And then I got this awesome wooden stool. This will also go in my Etsy shop. Really all of this is gonna go into my Etsy shop. So once I take all the pictures, do all the measurements, I'll get these listed and up in the shop. Really, really happy about my finds. Let's put them in here. Great finds, really, really happy about this sale today. Well, that was a fun sale. I think that that house was so old. I think they said it was built before the 1940s. And I would definitely agree because the crown molding in that house was so detailed and so pretty. My first home that I ever bought was 1921. And so when I stepped into this house today, it just brought me right back with all of the details that you get in an old home. It's completely gorgeous. The original antique wood floors, all of the detailing, chair rail molding, really, really pretty. Unfortunately, this home seemed to be a little run down. It felt very damp inside, but they had collected so much stuff. The old Elvis things were in there were very neat. All of the antique pieces in there were very nice to see. I don't personally need any of those pieces. I thought that the antique wardrobe in the garage was really nice. Again, I don't have a purpose for it, but if I definitely, if I had a shop somewhere, I would 100% have bought that antique wardrobe, cleaned it up, fixed the bottom of it, and then put it in there for someone else to buy. But someone will grab that thing up and bring it back to its glory. So really, really nice piece in the garage. I was able to come out of there with those pieces that I just showed you. Really happy with those. This sale was definitely one you kind of had to do a little bit of digging to kind of see. Um, I was a little more cautious though, because some areas there was some black mold, but the upstairs was closed off, but boy, was I curious. I really was thinking all those rooms upstairs, what could be up there? An attic maybe? Very, very nice. And then you saw when I left, 
there was that huge structure outside and I asked um, the lady doing the sale, what was that? And she said it was a bomb shelter. How crazy. Really happy with the stuff that I got today. Again, everything that you saw me pick up, I will be cleaning up and putting into my Etsy shop. So if you're interested in what I picked up, be sure to follow over there and grab it if you like it. I'm really happy I could take you with me today. It's always fun doing these sales. And the next one I'm gonna be doing is gonna be really, really fun. So I'm excited to share that one with you. I'll be going there tomorrow. So thank you again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.